डॉक्टर राकेश सरकार कन्सालटेंट कार्डियोलजिस्ट एंड इलेक्ट्रोफिजिओलजिस्ट इन बी एन बिल्ला हार्ट रिसार्च सेंटर टूडे आई एम गोईंग टू स्पीक ऑन हाउ पेसमेकार वार्क सो एज वी अंडारस्टैंड दैट हार्ट हेज द एबिलिटी टू बीट ऑन इट्स ओन बै द इलेक्ट्रिकल कारेंट हुईच इज फॉर्म इन सैड द हार्ट इट सेल्फ एबसेंस और द डिफिसियसि of generation of the electricity or the disability of passage of the current inside the various chambers requires some support in the form of some device which is called pacemaker now pacemaker has basically two component to function one is called its lead and another is called its battery the leads which are required to pace different chambers of the heart or just to sense the electrical current inside the chambers are inserted in either ventricle or in atrium sometimes it may be placed in some other part of the heart which is called coronary sinus branch now whatever be the situation the main purpose of inserting the lead are to either sense the electrical current or to generate the electrical current whereas the battery is the main circuit which generates the electrical current to pass through the leads or to sense the electrical current through the leads the battery is generally inserted or implanted in a pocket just below the clavicle or collarbone in a muscle pocket whereas the leads will be placed inside the cardiac chambers and both the things are connected to each other to make a full circuit now the various nomenclature of pacemaker depends on the chamber or the functional capacity of the pacemaker like we call single chamber pacemaker or dual chamber pacemaker or crt depending on the number of the leads or the function of the device itself like when we talk about the single chamber generally the lead will be placed in ventricle whereas when we talk about dual chamber basically it will be placed in right atrium and right ventricle whereas in case of crt there will be three leads which will be inserted in right atrium right ventricle and coronary sinus basically the purpose of putting the coronary sinus lead is to pace the lead ventricle and to resynchronize the electrical function between right and the left ventricle so apart from the electrical current generation or electricity signal sensing it has also the ability sometimes which is very novel and very unique that is called shock generating property which is mediated by a special kind of lead which is called defibrillator lead or df lead now this is uh, not required in run of the mill patients for pacemaker but this will be required in some patients which are very prone to develop some arrhythmia called ventricular tachycardia so pacemaker is a basically cardiac implantable electronic device which is very much upstream very much novel and evolving just to give the best therapy in a electrically abnormal heart thank you